It's very simple. You become an effective leader when you empower your managers, your employees at all levels. Okay. That gives them ownership. They own what they're doing. One starts interfering in everything. So he may flood the can't forget the wooden say Then you hammer the guy for it. <laughs> so you you put competent people in every sphere of the business. Let them get on. Let them run it. You must empower them. You must provide them the ability to think and work and do what they want to do. You must actually give them ownership. Ownership. If they don't have, feel they have the ownership, then they say, well, it's his thing. Let him take the whole responsibility. I do. I provide the leadership. Right? Okay. But I don't operate. The operations are run by the people. I drive the business. But I don't manage it. Okay. There's a big difference between driving, driving the business and managing the business. And managing everything yourself. Two separate things. The leader has to be the person. The leader has to be the person that selects the right people and let them manage the business. If I have to give a message to the youth, to the youth, nothing comes easy. You have to work. There is no substitute for hard work. And if you make your mind to do something and you've got the education, there's a lot of opportunity. Just passionate and hardworking.